Good day everyone, it is me Claudine K.E. Pangalinen and you are watching Globalization Report. Let us have a glance at the headline first. The role of religion today, role of religion in promoting world peace and the rise and fall of the ISIL or ISIS. Looking around the world today, it is clear that religion play a role in many of the major conflicts going on at various levels. Furthermore, religion plays an important role in people's lives worldwide and has become one of the major ways people connect with each other across the globe. However, the role of religion in contemporary societies is still not sufficiently understood in academic research and in the world of policymakers and journalists. It is true that sometimes deeply held beliefs can lead to clashes and there have been many wars that were caused by disputes over religion and belief. However, for many people religion can be a powerful peace. A message of peace and love towards others is at the heart of all the major world religions. This is where the role of religion in promoting world peace. Van K. Damananda of Malaysia wrote an essay about the role of religion in promoting world peace. It says here that religion has a definite role to play in the people's search for world peace. The moral principle and values contained in the teachings of great religious teachers are essential factor for the reduction of and ultimate eradication of greed, hatred, and delusion which form the root cause of various conflicts and wars. Of course, religion has a definite role to play in the people's search for world peace within oneself. These three evils, the greed, hatred, and delusion, bring about greed unrest in the mind of people, resulting in physical outbursts of violence culminating in global warfare. The fact that wars begins in the minds of people is well recognized by certain as loving people. The preamble to UNESCO's constitution says, Since wars begin in the minds of men, it is in the minds of men that the defenses of peace must be constructed. What does it mean? That is, if one wishes to have a peace of mind, one must also construct defenses of peace in one's own mind. Religion not only inspires and guides people, but also provides them with the necessary tools to reduce greed with the practice of charity, to overcome hate and aversion with loving, kindness, and to remove ignorance with the development of wisdom in order to understand the true nature of beings and to see things as they really are. Religions should work together sincerely and not in jealous competition with one another. So religious leaders must work in harmony and cooperate in true spirit of service for the welfare and happiness of many people. We should let all religion teach people to be good and proclaim the brotherhood of humanity. Let religions to be kind, to be tolerant, to be understanding, and we should respect others' belief and opinion. Pushed out from many of its strongholds in Syria and besieged on all sides in the Iraq city of Mosul, the Islamic State of Iraq and Lebanon's group, or ISIL, also known ISIS, is losing its territorial base in the very region that once incubated its growth. In May 2018, the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency estimated that ISIL has lost 65% of its land in Iraq and 45% in Syria since 2014. ...to Islamic State. It now clings to two key strongholds, one in Iraq and one in Syria. Islamic State has been driven out of almost all the territory they used to hold in Iraq. At one point they had a third of the country. They are down just to holding a part of Mosul. In Syria, they have been driven out of almost everything they held. An attention will shift to Raqqa, the Islamic State capital in Syria, quite swiftly after that. ISIL's rapid expansion has irrevocably changed the political dynamics governing the region. But in order to know how, one must first understand the conditions that contributed to the group rise. You have just heard the latest news around the world. Again, this is Globalization Report. 
News with no bias, news with no exception, deliver nothing but the truth. This has been Claudine K.E. Pangolinan. Thank you for being with me until the end. Goodbye.